Hello everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back. Since I'm liking the Phantom Pain so much, I decided to make a 15 tip video that hopefully will help you navigate through the game, learn something new and enjoy the game more. Let's go! In order to be successful in some missions, we wanna be stealthy and we all love the train gun. But sometimes we don't wanna shoot too much not to waste ammunition, we don't wanna break and damage the suppressor. And sometimes we don't even need to do that. If you sneak up on an enemy, you can just point your gun and when you do that they will just surrender. Just make sure the enemy is alone by himself, otherwise this won't work. Once he's here you can get information, you can kill him or you can just tell him to get down. When you spend a lot of time doing missions, you will become bloody as you can see right now. This will lower the effectiveness of snake in the battlefield. So, sometime return back to the mother base, look for showers and there you are. Upgrade your binos as soon as possible, this way you can see the stats on the enemy soldiers. So you can bring the best soldiers back to mother base and not just picking them blindly. When you finish a mission and you want to just deploy again in another spot, instead of calling for the chopper wasting money and time, go into the menu and click return to the ACC. This way you will return directly to the chopper and you won't waste any time and any money. During reflex mode, focus on accuracy, aim for the head, one bullet will be enough if you're accurate enough and if you're fast you can take down multiple opponents. During firefights look for explosive battles, those can be extremely useful in order to take down multiple opponents. In order to make somebody fall asleep immediately after using your trunk pistol you need to aim for the head. So make sure you line up your shots and if somebody caught you by surprise Use reflex mode to aim directly at the head. What I love about Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain so much is that you can approach the situation how you want. I like to be stealthy and sometimes I found some outposts that are really hard to penetrate. But if you're patient enough when you scout you will find there are some secret passages or alternative ways to enter those uh, outposts. So you can see right now a secret passage, those won't guarantee that once inside you won't be spotted, but can be very useful in some situations. We allow when everything goes according to plans, nobody spots us, we get the best rank on the missions, we don't die, but in some situations something unexpected may happen, like in this situation, I thought the guards in this car would come out of the car and eventually they would have spotted me. But they didn't, the car was just turning around. If I had lost my cool, I would probably just start shooting the car before they got out, to gain an advantage. But in this situation I was lucky, I didn't lose my cool and I could proceed on this outpost without being spotted. During a mission we may want to gain information in order to see where our target is. And we may try to interrogate guards, but sometimes they are just surrounded by other guards and if we try to interrogate them this will get the attention of other guards. So you can stun them, you can put them to sleep, carry them on your back, then leave them into an isolated place and then you can wake them up. Once you wake them up, wait some seconds for them to regain consciousness, you can uh, you know, grab them, then you can interrogate them and then just put them to sleep again or just kill them. One on a horse, if you want to lower the chance of being spotted, you can just sneak while being on the horse. Take in mind that if you do that by pressing C in my case, because it's my hotkey for sneaking, your horse will lose its sprint over time, so you can't keep sprinting and stay sneaking all the time. Wherever you are, always keep an eye out for shiny objects. You can see right now I'm roaming around the mother base and I just found one in a really weird spot. Some people don't realize how crawling will lower the chance of you being spotted by a lot. I lost count of how many times doing this just crawling around and saved me from being spotted. 
when you lock the Intel team, they will give you a lot of useful information and when they do, always put a mark on that location. You will be surprised what you will discover. In this case, they just gave me the location of my target. I just came out from the chopper and I was going around in that outpost getting information and they just gave me the location of my target. It was really, really amazing. Before getting into action, make sure you mark as many enemies as you can. You will be able to see them all the time, even through walls, so you can react to their movements and move accordingly. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope this video helped you. I have more tips available, but I didn't want to make this video too long. If you want to see more tips for Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain, let me know in the comments and I will make more videos. And trust me, if you didn't play this game, buy it because it's really, really amazing. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video.